hi friends today in this video i am going to show you how to install open idm 6.5.0.3 before going to install open idm in your system java should be installed okay and we have to download open idm software from backstage forge drug website so go to backstage forgerug.com so before going to download open idm software you should be registered in in this site so go to register enter your user id which is use, required to log in in next time so enter valid email id so you will receive activation link to your email inbox so you have to give proper working email email id so once you given all the profiles details and all you can submit the you can register click on the register button so so that your account will be registered and you will get the activation link into your email inbox so open your email inbox then click on the activation link then your account will be activated once your account activated then come back to backstage.porzdoc.com website then click on the download option so click on the identity management so in the identity management we have two options one is the latest and archive so latest always having the latest version of the idm software so archive it is a like a old old so old versions so old versions in the sense less than the current version okay so what so now we are going to installing 6.5.0.3 so here you can click on the zip uh, button so it, you must be logged in to download this file so you enter click on the login button so enter the your username and password so once you enter the username and password after successful login again you are coming back to the same latest download page and click on the zip button so in my system already i have downloaded so i will show you directly installation okay now i have downloaded that software and pasted into some pasted into to this folder so this is the file zip file will be you downloaded okay now unzip this software yeah so the, the zip was unzipped so inside the folder there is a open idm folder here we have a folder uh, folder structures here we have to see here there is a one folder that is a resolver so in this folder is very important so in this in which we have in this folder we have boot dot properties file boot dot properties file what it contains it contains the some basic configuration of open idm so here we have uh, multiple ports are configured for the different uh, purpose like over the first one is the http port so what is the http port so this is the 8080 so the port might be using in your system so you can change 8080 to some other port so now i am going to giving to 8082 so why i am saying this one 8080 is the default port given by some other applications by default so uh, for better to avoid the conflict of the port so change the port 80802 80802 after changing this port uh, save this file and close the boot properties file so what a, and in the open idm 6.5.0.3 having embedded ldap directory as a backend server if 
compared to 4.0 but for open idm 4.0 having embedded over in db as a backend server so here we have ldap as a embedded backend server okay now no forget about that so no need to do any background so i am going to showing very basic installation of open idm so after changing the port then directly you can execute the startup command so we have two uh, two startup uh, two startup files are there one for the windows one another one for the uh, linux so now we are installing open idm in like windows system so you can type the cmd command here the command prompt will be opened here now type the startup dot bat startup dot bat instead of sh this is for linux system yeah. now enter the hit button yeah another pop-up window opened so this open idm installation will take few minutes because it will it will in it is installing open it is installing L open dj as a backend server so it will take few minutes okay yeah now you can see open idm ready so it means that open idm installation successful okay. now how to access open idm console so open browser so you can type http localhost 8082 so there is a admin okay so this is the open idm admin portal yeah so what is the username and password so we have a default admin username and password so what is the default admin username and password open idm iphone admin this is the default username so password is also same so open idm admin so click on login see we have logged in into admin portal successfully okay uh, so now i will show you how to log in into self service portal yeah so remove the admin just hit the without any context path so this is a self service login page so i am going to use it default admin user credentials here open idm hyphen admin yeah now here you can see so, uh, so admin user logged in into self-service portal here you can see the only what is the user activity under okay so here you can change the password okay okay yeah, sorry yeah localhost self service I will go into opening one more window. Yeah. So here you can. So this is the self service portal URL. This is a admin portal URL. 
so you understand correct so there is a two different uh, urls for the self service and admin portal okay so and one more thing i am going to showing here so there is a what is the background uh, how open idm is working in the background like uh, open idm using uh, deployed open idm using uh, apache felix server so what is the apache felix server console okay so here system class console so localhost 8082 system console so it is asking authentication required so what is so here default username and password is admin admin so remember this is a default username for accessing felix apache felix server console okay so admin admin so here you can see complete open idm configuration and activities and process details like you can see bundle list what are the bundles loaded what are the services loaded what is the system configuration okay like system properties like you can see what are the inbuilt right now i told you so uh, there is a open dj installed while installing the open idm as a embedded backend server so here you can see these details and what is the data directory so all the configuration details you can see in the apache felix web console okay yeah thank you for watching the video so i will show you in the next video how to integrate open idm with external open dj okay yeah thank you